Question number 5 says that a hemispherical depression is cut out from one face of a cubical wooden block such that the diameter L of the hemisphere is equal to the edge of the cube. We have to determine the surface area of the remaining solid. Now from the given information, we can create the figure of the solid which will look like this where L represents the edge length of the cubical wooden block and this is the top view of the solid which is formed as per the given information. So what they have actually done is they had taken a cube of side length L and they have scooped out a hemisphere from the top face which is having a diameter equal to L that is the side length of the cubical block. So now we can write that the diameter of the hemisphere is L, that is the length of the edge of the cube. Therefore, the radius of the hemisphere will be half its diameter, that is L by 2. Now, if we clearly observe the given figure, it's clear that the surface area of the remaining solid includes total surface area of the cubical block, the curved surface area of the hemisphere and excludes the scooped out part. So the scooped out part is actually the base of the hemisphere because we have already taken into consideration the curved surface area of the hemisphere which is the new surface area that got created but we'll have to subtract the base of the hemisphere, the base area of the hemisphere. So the formula that we can write to find the total surface area of the formed solid will be total surface area of cube plus curved surface area of the hemisphere minus the area of base of hemisphere. So we can write that as total surface area of cube which is found by the formula 6L square plus curved surface area of the hemisphere which is found by the formula 2 pi r square minus the area of the base of the hemisphere. Now the base of the hemisphere is a circle of radius r, so we can write it as pi r square. So on further calculation we get that as 6L square plus pi r square. Now we have already got that the radius of the hemisphere is L by 2, so let's substitute that. We get it as L by 2 the whole square. So we'll get the answer as 6L square plus pi L square by 4. And if we take the LCM, we'll get the final answer as 1 by 4 L square times pi plus 24. And this is how we determine the surface area of the remaining solid. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.